after a very hot weather, our summer, the rains have come. And the beauty about the rains is that the air is so fresh. In the weekend, I just looked out of my tree and my morning glory tree is flowering. I planted this morning glory tree about six years ago and this is the first time it's coming into full bloom. Now what I did is because I have a low arch tree, which is a fruit tree, in between, and my daughter and I used to sit here when she was small and we'd sort of gobble up these low coat fruits. But then after she went to university and has left home, I decided to grow this morning glory tree. And for the first time in ages, it's in full bloom. And this is just the start of the season. My name is Alice and I'm the Red Soil Gardener. Today I thought of talking about something very important when you're dealing with your plants. So the four topics I'm going to choose from is deadheading, pinching, debudding and light shearing. Now why I chose these topics, if you had seen my previous episode, this is my neglected coleus plant and we had mentioned it and had seen it. Now what I did with this plant, I said I would look after it, after all I had neglected it, but I still started pinching. Now if you look at the plant is all I've done is remove the top of the stem and with the result is I've got all these new shoots coming out and that is simply out of pinching. Pinching is a technique to increase your foliage and by increasing your foliage the plant has gone more into stem production as opposed to just growing. Now here here I haven't pinched and basically this is the technique. You go to the plant, the stem and remove the top stem, this bit, from the plant. So I've actually removed the tip. Now what happens once you do that is that the plant now sends all this energy to make more branches and in the end look at all this. This is from about three weeks ago. I've got all these little babies growing here will become branches and in that way you will get a fuller plant. Now what I'm going to do is once you get this you can actually shape your coleus plant because now that I'm getting the shooting I can decide what what I really want from here. So I'm going to prune it, cut it out, and I'm going to try to shape it so as it starts branching out, I get a really nice shape. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut here, remove this one, and I will remove, um, I think I should remove this one. So I'm just cutting just above the node. Um, I may even remove uh, this one. With these taller ones, I'm going to just leave it for the time being. Let's see if we can get more branching happening here. And then in the end, I can cut the top because my idea is I'd like them all to be even and to be full. So now this is what pinching is all about. You could use your scissor, but I usually like to just use your finger, go to the tip of the plant, just nip it off, and this is the result of pinching. If you remember this plant is we did a series called Transplant Shock. Now this is the plant, the African Daisy. It revived and it just seems to be growing. A plant has a cycle which is basically for reproduction in the end, creation of seeds so it regenerates the species. Now when you come in and you start confusing the plant by not letting the seeding process go on, what happens is the plant starts quickly making a lot of blooms in order for it to turn into seed. So what we're doing as deadheading is actually removing the spent seeds. I have my bloom. I remove Remove the spent seeds, the ones which are old, in order for it not to go into seed production. 
and then in the end you end up if you do that you end up with so many blooms the other thing we're going to discuss here is de budding now that is actually taking the bud and making sure that you snip it off because it's going to go into seed production now I will show you where the bud is I'm just gonna snip this this is a bud and it's actually a spent flower but if you look at it it's already going into seed production and so in order for me to get more blooms I'm going to remove these heads so I look for the plant going into seed production I am snipping it all off I'm using a scissor um, this is spent one this is going into seed production and if you leave it too late as I did here with this one is um, it's already gone to seed productions and the seeds have dropped so I'm going to just remove all those seeds and these ones and that's what you do if you want to get a lot of blooms. Now, remember we talked about my driveway and we were planting all these lovely margaritas. Now, what has happened is that they're all in full bloom, but they're hanging downwards. Now the other thing I wanted to talk about is light shearing. So here I am with my shears and I'm going to crop all this down so that a new bloom can come because all of these are just hanging and they've become quite scraggy. Now the reason why I'm cutting this margarita is I think it's it's had its day. I mean, it's bloomed and bloomed for so many months, but the blooms were actually getting really scraggy and with the rain every night is they kept on drooping. So what I've done is I've actually deadheaded it and I've removed the new buds so that this plant can actually take its time and regenerate and soon in a month's time it'll start blooming again and it'll look wonderful and we can follow it on Instagram. So fellow gardeners, hopefully I've given you enough tips on increasing your foliage and also increasing your blooms. If you do have any questions, please do ask me. I'm on Instagram, I'm on Facebook as Red Soil Gardener and whatever questions you have, DM me on Facebook and I'll always be there to answer. Don't forget to like, to share and also subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to press that notification button so when we do get a new episode, you will always be notified. Thank you so much for joining me. Happy gardening day and happy foliage and bloom.